started getting a t-shirt of your size, knitted fabric, a cover stitch sewing machine, and this is a Singer Professional 5, and a serger. And all the links will be available in the description below, so go and check that out. You're going to want to find a t-shirt that has side seams because you're going to be cutting down the side seams and making a pattern from this t-shirt. Start at the bottom of the t-shirt and cut all the way up the side seam through the armhole. And you'll want to do this for both side seams. Once you have the side seams cut, go ahead and lay your t-shirt out flat and cut your sleeve out. And then do this for both sleeves. Now that the sleeves are gone, go ahead and cut your shoulder seams. Then you'll want to cut the neckline off of both the front and the back panels. So you're going to end up with one front panel, one back panel, and two sleeves. But you only need to use one sleeve. Start by laying your back panel on the fabric, trace around it, and cut it out. And again, this is just a quick way to make a pattern if you have an extra t-shirt laying around, or you can go to the store and buy a pattern too. It's totally up to you. Then go ahead and do the same thing for the front panel. Then go ahead and do the same thing with the sleeve. And we're going to go a little bit past the bottom because we want to make room for hemming. Next we're going to make in the pocket and you can totally make the pocket as big as you want. We're going to do about 15 inches on the top and 20 inches on the bottom. But start by making a rectangle. And we're going to drop it down about 11 inches. And then extend out that bottom line on both sides, making it even. Then go ahead and connect those points. Then go ahead and cut that out. And from here we're going to measure about an inch and a half inward and then make a line straight up. And then repeat this process for the other side. And you're going to want to end up with two pocket panels. Next we're going to make in the hood and we're going to take the measurement from both the necklines and ours is about 26 and a half and you're going to divide that by two and use that for the bottom length. And then you can go up as far as you want depending on how baggy you want the hood. Ours ended up being about 13 and a half by 13 and a half after seam allowance. Then starting from the bottom left corner, go ahead and make an arch up to the top right corner. And this is going to be that top edge of the hood. And then from about an inch up, make a curve down towards the bottom of the center. Then go ahead and cut that out. And you're going to want to end up with four hood panels. Next, take your hood panels, place right sides together, and just sew that front flat edge. And we are using a serger, but if you don't have one, it's not a big deal. Just use a zigzag stitch. And then go ahead and do the same thing for the other two panels. Mm -hmm. 
Then stretch them out, placing right sides together, line up the middle seams, and sew all the way around that arc. Then go ahead and flip the right sides out. And you can start to kind of see the formation of the hood. And before we sew anything else on, we're going to go ahead and add an eyelet so that way we can feed a lace through there. So go ahead and mark up about an inch and a half from the bottom and about a half an inch from the side. Make a hole and slip your eyelet into that hole. I'm just going to be using a hammer and die to install this eyelet, and you can get this set up at pretty much any hobby store. And we'll also have a link in the description for these bigger eyelets and the whole kit so you can install these on anything. And then go ahead and use the same process to install the eyelet on the other side. So now that we have the eyelets in, we're going to go ahead and seal off that bottom edge. And again, we're using a serger, and if you don't have one, it's not a problem. Just use a zigzag stitch. This will help keep everything in line and a lot easier to install it on the neckline. Next we're going to do a top stitch all the way around on the outside of the eyelid. This will create a nice little tunnel for that lace to follow through. And we are going to be using a cover stitch machine to do this stitch. You don't need to use that if you just have a domestic machine, just use a straight stitch. But I do highly recommend looking into getting cover stitch if you're going to be doing a lot with knitwear. It just makes for an awesome hem on stretchy fabrics. Moving onto the pocket, place right sides together and sew both sides. This is going to make a nice clean edge for when you flip it right side back out. Go ahead and flip it right side back out and now you're going to serge both the top and the bottom. Or zigzag stitch, whatever you have handy. Next we'll be adding a top stitch along the sides of that pocket. So just use a straight stitch and follow along that edge. And then on the bottom edge, go ahead and roll it over and do a hem. Now 
Now with the right sides together, we're going to be sewing off those shoulder seams. Still with right sides together, now we're going to sew off both of the side seams. Now we're going to be adding the hood onto that neckline. So you're going to want to have your main base inside out and mark the middles of both front and the back panel. Then place the back seam of the hood on that back point you marked and place right sides together. So your hood is going to be right side out for this. Line those points up and then go ahead and throw a pin in there. Next, you want to take the front two points of your hood and just overlap that front point on the front panel and line both of them up and throw a pin in that side as well. And then kind of stretch it out to see if it lines up all nice. And if everything lines up, you're set to start sewing. And I recommend starting at the front so that way it's all lined up when you come all the way back around. Next, we're going to be assembling the sleeves, so go ahead, flip them in half, place right sides together, and just sew up that bottom edge. And go ahead and do this for both sleeves. Next step is hemming the sleeves and we're going to be using the cover stitch for this. So go ahead and roll that edge over and just sew all the way around. And if you don't have a cover stitch, go ahead and just use a zigzag stitch. And then go ahead and repeat this process for the other sleeve. And using the same technique that you used on the sleeves, go ahead and hem the bottom of the shirt. And now we're going to be adding on the sleeves and it's very similar to adding on the hood. You're going to line up the bottom seam with that side seam and start there and sew all the way around so that right sides are together. And again, stretch it out a little bit. Make sure that they both line up both of those circles and then just start sewing. And then go ahead and repeat this process for the other sleeve.
next we're gonna be adding on the pocket. So go ahead and place right sides together with the pocket upwards and pin that on because you're gonna be sewing it on there and then folding it over and then doing a top stitch. Now go ahead and take the pins out and fold it back down and do a top stitch all the way along the top. Next, go ahead and flatten that pocket out and make sure it's on there nice and smooth and then go ahead and pin both sides because you're going to be sewing up both of those sides. And then go ahead and do a nice stitch back and forth on those sides and make sure they're secured down because you want it nice and tight because your hands are going to be going in and out of there and you don't want that seam to rip. And then the final step for the pocket, all you have to do is sew along that bottom edge, securing that entire pocket down. And then the last step is adding the lace to the hood. And if you don't have a little metal cap like ours to help you kind of feed it through, you can also use a safety pin and just pin it to the top of the cord and just work your way around the entire sleeve. And there you have it. That's how you make your short sleeve hoodie. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment. Let us know what you think. We're going to keep the videos coming at you. So we'll see you next time.